All right, Ratchet and Clank, another movie based on a video game property. Can this be actually a good video game movie? Please, out of anything, this should at least be good, right? Right? Mm, let's see. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Ratchet and Clank. So Ratchet and Clank is based off of the video game properties of Ratchet and Clank, the PS2 games, the PS3 games. This film actually stars the voice talents of James Arnold Taylor, David K, Jim Ward, who returned from the video games to voice their characters here in the film. And we've got Paul Giamatti, Bella Thorne, Rosario Dawson, Sylvester Stallone, John Goodman. And Ratchet and Clank is about this Wombax named Ratchet who wants to make a difference in the world. He wants to join Captain Quark's team but unfortunately Captain Quark doesn't really think Ratchet is the right fit so Ratchet isn't able to join but then Ratchet somehow runs into Clank. Ratchet and Clank become best friends and then because of the evil Drek taking over the world Ratchet and Clank go ahead and join Captain Quark's team. So Ratchet and Clank I'm gonna say this and and I'm really ashamed to say this, but I did not grow up playing the Ratchet and Clank video games. And it's kind of ironic because, you know, growing up, I've grown up playing the Sly Cooper video games, the SpongeBob SquarePants video games, the Crash video games, the Jack video games. But for some reason, growing up, I never really played Ratchet and Clank. It wasn't until a couple of years ago when I actually went ahead and bought this video game right here called Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus. This was my first Ratchet and Clank video game. After I played this game, I had a ton of fun with it. I downloaded the other PS3 video games into my PS3 and I had a lot of fun with those games. I was hoping this could actually be the one that's good at least or doesn't suck and what I could say about this movie is that it doesn't suck thank goodness to me it didn't suck but it wasn't good either but what I will say about this film is that I was entertained Ratchet and Clank is unfortunately not a video game movie I'm going to remember and that's a shame considering how much I love these characters. Unfortunately the movie, their first ever movie brought to the screen is not very memorable. It's not anything special. Not something I'm going to want to really rewatch unless it's playing on TV. But I will say for the one time watch I did find myself having enough fun with this film. And I think the reason for that is because well one of course Ratchet and Clank. I love seeing these two characters on screen. It was just so great to finally see these characters have their own movie, even if it's not the best or anything. It's just nice to see these characters, and it puts a big old smile on my face. And their chemistry is still there, just like in the video games. They're back and forth with each other. It's still definitely present. Captain Quark, he's still that bumbling idiot that can be taking actions that aren't really the best. He is still that character from the video games, and I still really enjoyed him. And the supporting cast for what they had, I thought they were pretty serviceable. They're not the most memorable thing about this film. They're just kind of there. But I do think they serve for what they need to be or just kind of be background characters. You actually have Paul Giamatti as the voice of the villainous Drek. I thought Paul Giamatti was having a lot of fun. I really liked him, just like with a lot of his movies. He just brings so much energy, and he definitely does that with the villain. Bella Thorne, I think she does a decent job voicing, and I say decent because you can kind of tell that it is Bella Thorne, honestly. Like, every time her character came up on screen, I saw Bella Thorne voice in the studio. And that's nothing against her, because believe it or not, I do like Bella Thorne. She's decent for what she has. So that's Stallone. He voices Victor. He serves for Paul Giamatti's character, Drek. 
And for what he had, he was pretty entertaining. It's good old Sylvester Stallone, but just voicing a robot. And he was pretty good here. John Goodman's really good in this film too. I actually really liked his character. Not a big part that his character has, but I really did like him for what he had. And Rosario Dawson, who might be the most interesting out of Ratchet and Clank's team, uh, Ratchet and Clank and Captain Quirk's team, I should say. She's the most interesting out of all of them, to be honest. And I actually thought she was actually really good. I thought Rosario Dawson just lended her voice very well. And the action in Ratchet and Clank is a ton of fun. And that's something I was definitely hoping that they would deliver because of how great and fun the action is in the video games. And actually seeing the action in movie form put a big old smile on my face. They were actually kind of exciting to watch. And the animation is actually very good. It's very well detailed. And I really like the music too. The music is really nice. And some of the humor actually worked for me surprisingly. Which was something I was very worried about. Because in the trailer, I wasn't really laughing at all. I was really, really cringing. And I was worried that little to nothing would work for me. But no, there were plenty of times where I was laughing with the film. Um, just nice little jokes that did work for me. But however, what does make Ratchet and Clank not that memorable of an animated movie, unfortunately, is the storyline. The storyline is you're by the numbers. The team have to stop this villain from destroying the world. And that is a formula you see in a lot of animated movies. But the thing is that it kind of depends depends on how uh, memorable they can take that storyline like if they could add a little bit of something new to make that movie stick out more it doesn't matter if they use the same formula it's just a matter of how they execute it how they write it ratchet and clank doesn't really do anything new to be honest with this formula it's the kind of formula you see it done a dozen times in movies without really doing anything new with it. It's not really the case with this movie. It is very basic and if you go into this just knowing it's that and nothing more then that's where I think you could enjoy this movie but personally I was hoping for more out of this film because as far as the storytelling goes it is very basic, it is very generic and it's not really anything all that memorable to me. Also I do think that Victor who is this robot once again voiced by Sil Sylvester Stallone, he didn't really have that much to do and I kind of thought they wasted his character to be honest and that's kind of a shame because I did like the character for what he had but they just waste this character not really doing much with him. Most of the humor in the film didn't really work with me either as were some of the humor did work for me. A lot of the humor in Ratchet and Clank doesn't exactly work for me in my opinion and I did think that Captain Quark's or Ratchet and Clank's side team they weren't necessarily the most memorable thing. They were just kind of there. Ratchet and Clank were the ones that were doing most of the action and I'm sure the team had something to do. The problem is that you don't really see them do it. I'm sure they did something but most of the screen time focuses on Ratchet and Clank. It would have been nice if they actually got to develop the team members. They don't really do that. I think it would have been nice if we got to know about them and if we actually got to see them do more things because, like I said, most of the focus is on Ratchet and Clank but not really on the team. So because of that, they're just kind of background characters. Also not to mention that the climax of the movie did feel very anticlimactic. I thought it was pretty rushed and it felt out of nowhere, honestly, how this climax ended. I was hoping for something a little more action-packed. But no, when you get to this fight... It just ends out of nowhere and you're all like, that's the end of the climax? Like really? That's the end? Well okay then. So overall you guys, I do think this is a decent animated film. It's not a bad animated film. It's not a good animated film. It was a fun, okay movie. And this is one of those animated movies that is strictly for kids. There's not a lot 
unfortunately for the adults because something that I love about the video games is that those video games I feel like have the family appeal where both kids and adults can enjoy it. With the movie, I can't really see a lot of adults really enjoying it. Unfortunately, this movie, unlike the video games, it just has more things for the kids rather than having material for both adults and kids to enjoy. I'm gonna give Ratchet and Clank two and a half out of four stars. It's better than most of the video game movies out there. I will definitely say that, thank goodness. It's not terrible, but it still could have been better. Like, come on, it's Ratchet and Clank. This should have been, at least, a solid movie. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Ratchet and Clank. What you think about the video games? Did you grow up with the video games? Do you think the movie did the video games justice? This is 20 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!